This proposal is also relating to seasons of competition, but this time we're talking about non-intercollegiate seasons of competition. Sometimes we call those outside seasons of competition or competitive experience. And what we mean is, this is not an example of a student representing a collegiate institution and in competition. This is when a student's participating for an independent club or participating in a meet or an open on their own, independent of their institution. So right now, when a student transfers into the NAIA from a prior athletic association, we would take whatever that previous athletic association decided when that previous association evaluated the student's uh, non-collegiate competitive experience, we would take that at face value in terms of whether the prior association determined the student should be charged with a season of competition or not. That's the current approach. Under this proposal, what we would do instead is we would no longer take any determination at face value from the previous athletic association. Rather, we would apply our own NAIA approach that we currently apply to our existing NAI student athletes, and now we'd be applying it to transfer students' previous competitive experience. So in general, that approach in the NAIA is to say, we will charge a student with a season of competition if they participate in non-intercollegiate play that's at the professional or semi-professional level. So that might be a professional level team, or it might be a meet or an open that's deemed as being professional level play. So what this proposal would do is say that when we have those incoming transfer students, we would apply that same NAIA approach to their previous non-intercollegiate participation. The one thing that we would continue to take at face value from the prior association is any determinations of if the student was an unattached or an independent student athlete while participating under the previous association. So in our evaluation, we may see that the student was listed in a meet as an unattached or an independent participant. We would take that at face value rather than going back and re-evaluating how exactly that student was entered in the competition or what that looked like for them to meet the definition uh, under the previous association as unattached. We would just take that determination of unattached status at face value.